We're here at Moat Marine Aquaculture Laboratories, right here where they're raising all those little snook. The ones from the first hatching now are about 135 days old. You've met the staff, you've met them when they were little. We got the net, let's go see how them little muggins are turning out. Hey Nate, what's going on? Hi Blair, good to see you. Good to see you too, good to see these little guys. Yeah. Kind of tough to see them down there. It's because of the food we give them. They get uh, pelleted food and it's a darker colored food. It comes out of this automated dispenser that delivers the food 24 hours a day. Well, let's see what these little dudes look like now. How many you got in this tank anyway? This tank has about 800, I think. About 800 in there. Well, I just got four of them. And look at them, they look just like little baby snook. You're gonna have crowding behaviors happening. So we wanna see how rearing density in the end will affect these fish because they are being reared for releases into the wild. Yeah, see the mouth, it opens just like a largemouth bass and he can swallow a fish 90% his own size. So part of the ongoing work here is we separate them physically by size into different size groups and that way uh, we minimize uh, cannibalism. That shows where some of y'all's uh, money goes that you're donating to the Project Snook. Here's the result right here. Appreciate it, guys. Every dollar that comes into this project goes directly into supporting the research. Everything from buying the food to feed the animals in captivity to buying key pieces of equipment to allow us to better understand their biology. 